Hao. Welcome back to the Chinese class. Now, please get ready your pen, okay, and the your textbook. We are going to write the characters and do the exercises. Okay. Now let's come to the first character. Okay. So we have. Uh, we'll just go to the character. Okay, you can just follow the instruction, the directions of uh, the yes Chinese when you are not sure about the order of strokes. Now let's come to the first. This is Die. Uh, so you know which is the uh, first stroke. So we start from the Ri. Yes. Okay, so we have Shu. Hang Zhe Hang Hang and then Shu Wan Go. Okay. It's something similar to what? To the Qi, right? Okay. Yes. This is uh, Dian. Okay. Xia Ge. So we have uh, Hua. Okay. Hua means if in Chinese if you are speaking, so that's uh, Shu Hua. Okay. So that's why we have the left part. You know this part, left part, right? This left part, yan zi pang, it has something to do with speaking. And the right part itself means tongue, okay? So your tongue, when you just speak, your tongue will just keep moving, right? Okay, and for this character, so we have the lower part, just the mouth, okay? So this is hua, okay? The right part itself means the tongue, okay? The tongue, T O N G O E, just to make sure, okay? And this one, 你的电话号, yes, this is Ma. You already can, I think you can figure out the pronunciation, even though, okay, even if you just have, you didn't run across this character. So, according to the right part, you're quite familiar with the right part, right? That is Ma. And the left part means stone, okay? It means stone. So uh, I don't know why. The, I, in fact, when I just search, I couldn't find why it's the made of the stone. Maybe in that part. Okay, you just uh, so put the stones, pile of stones, very in a pack. Okay. Okay. So this is a stone. Yeah. This is a ma. So the start the writing from left to right. Okay. From top to down. So we have hang pie shu hang zhe hang. And you are quite familiar with Ma, okay? So this is Ma, Hao Ma. Okay, now let's come to Shou. Okay, first let's see how these characters evolves. This is a Shou inscribed on the bronze, okay? And this is a Shou in the clerical style. So you can just figure out we have this arm and then your palm, yeah. So this is a Shou, Shou. Now, this is G. So you are familiar with the right part, right? And G. And the left part, wood or tree. And in the, in the very beginning, we can say the device. Most of the devices were made in, we can say, wood or tree. So that's why we just have the machine, okay? The device. We just use this character to refer to the device or the machine, okay? Now, next. This is uh, Wang, as I mentioned when we just uh, learned this word, this character we know. So, so something it goes away from your heart. Okay, so we have the heart, and this is uh, this part just tells you the pronunciation and the meaning as well. Okay, okay. Now let's come to the character Mei. So we have Mei Guan Xi. And we will write this character first of all, like to call attention to the three dots. If these three dots is the fixed, uh, we can say radical, referring to water. Okay? So we have, when you write the three dots, I like to call attention to the last stroke. So we have uh, Dian, Dian. Okay? Let's have a look at the last one, it's like this. Okay? Just like this. So don't make this stroke. Okay? Touch here or reach almost there. Okay, it's not good. Okay, it's just a T, and then we have P, Hang Zhe Wan, no go. Okay, and then Hang Pie Shu. Okay, 
红撇，那 sorry， OK， so we have 点点提撇横折弯横撇，那 OK， so this is 梅，那 the next one is 关。Okay, this one the uh, also is the little meaning means close. Okay, and then the last one, Wan Xi Xi. Okay, so we have Pie Hang Zhe Pie Zhe Pie Pie Zhe Pie Zhe Dian Shu Go Pie Dian. For this character, you are just required to recognize this. Okay, now please turn to page. 三十七页。So now let's complete the dialogue. 我住 some place. So 会议中心，中心 means center. 二号楼，四五六号房间。The question should be, 你住哪儿 ？Yes. Okay. And then we have 你呢？ And you just gave your own address. I really hope so. You can learn to use the structure I offered. 我住 the city, 罗利 or Cary or Marysville. Okay, and then something 路 and then the number. Okay, 你的电话号码是多少？幺三六七幺三三八二五九，你的手机号码是多少？幺三八啊，对不起，我忘了。Okay, how? Okay, how do you feel this exercise? Not difficult, right? Okay, please turn to page. 三十八页。Okay, you are required to choose the right phrases. The first one, 你的房间号码是。So without referring to the choices, okay, I think you can just write the answer by yourself, right? 多少 ？Okay, and then number two, 第二个。你的手机号码是多少 ？There you go, right? Okay. And next one, 你住 ，and then we have 号楼。So 你住几号楼 ？Okay. Hopefully you can get all of them correct. So congratulations. Let's turn to page thirty-nine, 三十九页。Now let's complete the dialogue. B says, 我住留学生宿舍六 So here you have to add so this how. Otherwise, okay, now this is a mistake, a printing error. Okay, 六号楼二零一房间 And the question should be, 你住哪儿 the reason I said this is a mistake, a printing error, is if it's a Liu Lao, the room number will not be two zero one. It should be six something, and then so six zero one or six something. It should start from six. Okay, so you know Liu Lao means the sixth floor. So this definitely should be Liu Hao Lao. Okay, and then B says, 我的电话是。六二三四幺幺九零 How to ask the telephone, the cell phone number, the telephone number? 你的电话号码是多少 And then we are asked, 你的手机号是多少 You can give the exact number. So this is my cell phone number in China. 我的手机号码是幺三六幺幺五九三三八九，你的呢？你的手机号码是多少 ？Please tell me. And so that's the end of the exercises. And now here are the here's the homework. Okay, okay. 
Uh, please listen to the textbook CD track 05 and write these characters and learn to recognize the following characters and do the rest of the exercises on the textbook as for the writing part you can get all as for the reading part exercise 5 you can find it on the you can say the CD the track 5 okay that's the end of this session see you in the session of Chinese culture